Hey guys, it's Steve from the Tech Buzz and the Retro Buzz, and I've got an interesting product to show you here for the Legends Ultimate um, cabinet. Now, many of you have seen tutorials where Doug has put the Fire Stick in the system, and you can play games from the Fire Stick, um, or maybe you're like me and you have all these blast dongles that Act Games puts out, which have a lot of great classic games on it, but you're running out of HDMI space on the legend and you don't really want to leave them in there one of my big pet peeves is when we have folks come over whether they're young kids is I'm always afraid that it's so close to the joystick that somebody's gonna accidentally grab the dongle stick and pull it thinking it's the joystick and snap it off in that fighting game that they're vigorously battling the other opponent so I got to thinking. I purchased a product for about 25 bucks on Amazon that comes with a remote that has a USB micro cable, a power block, and it's a device that's yay big. What is this device, you might ask? Well, this is an HDMI switch. And what makes this so cool is the fact that we can put this inside the cabinet, come off of the control deck, take the output of this, because this is five in, one out, go to the monitor with the output, and essentially plug in all of our dongles that we want. And I know the dongles kind of stick out pretty far, so it might be one of those things where you might have to buy a USB extender or a, a HDMI extender, but you can get a lot of these in. Um, or, uh, you know, when you start doing with the uh, Fire Stick, I know the Fire Stick comes with one. Plug all your devices in, know which ones you put it in, maybe write it down on a piece of paper, or then use this remote and just simply press the button through the machine on essentially input one of the Legends Ultimate. So what that's going to do is give you more inputs without having to pull dongles in and out, without having to worry about breaking anything. Um, to me, this just seems like a really, really cool option to have uh, to make this type of stuff work. Now, I know with those flash dongles that you do have to plug them in, but you can always plug them into a USB power brick in the back of your machine, but with a power strip, leave the strip in the back of the machine and leave it powered all the time. So for this demonstration, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to hook up the fire stick in the back of the Legends Ultimate. I probably won't keep the flash, uh, the blast sticks hooked up all the time, but I at least want the fire stick to be hooked up all the time. So let's take you to the back. Okay, the first thing that you're gonna need to do is to take the back panel off of your Legends Ultimate. Now, I have um, I have these LEDs on the Mayan. So for me, it's a little bit hard to see these, so you gotta kind of feel around. I'm in the back of my machine. This is what I use to capture the gameplay. It's an NDI Spark from NewTek. Here's my control. So that item needs to, right now, it's coming and it's going into this HDMI switch. So that's the input. And then the output is one's going to here to the switch, uh, the NDI um, receiver, and the other one's going to the monitor. Okay, so we have the unit plugged in, and I happen to take, I have, because I have a studio, I have an HDMI cable, it's actually fairly long, and I plugged it into the output on the, um, the HDMI switch, because we want everything going in and then this coming out to go to the monitors. So I know that can be confusing, and that's why I wanted to walk you through. So my input 
my input on the Legends Ultimate is the control deck. So, what I want to do is I'm going to take that, I unplugged it from my switch, and now I'm going to plug it into input 1. I want that on input 1 because I want to know where that's at. Then I'm going to take the HDMI cable that came on the output of the switch and plug it into the input on the HDMI switch or the splitter. Excuse me. So now I can hear it in the front. I have video. I have audio. So I'm just going to kind of tuck this these wires back in here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of get these out of the way so I can kind of show you guys. So with the HDMI in there, now what we want to do is I want to disconnect the uh, fire stick, which is on the front, and come back and I'll plug that in and show you into input. Okay, two. so I have the fire stick, it's already plugged in, and I have one of these adapters that make it longer, so I can plug this into input two and still leave open input three. So let's say you guys that want to do a Raspberry Pi, you don't want to have it hanging off the side. I don't like drilling holes in this thing. Once I get it set up, it's set up. I'm not changing anything. So I'm going to plug this in right inside here using this switch. And I'm, I just went into input two. And now that's plugged in. Just moving the wires around so that way nothing gets pinched, prodded, or anything like that. So let's take you to the front and let's see if the remote works with this. Okay, so as you can see, we've got it hooked up. Now, <clears throat> what I set it up to do is I'm gonna put some Velcro on it and it's gonna sit right behind the marquee at the top um, on, on the outside of the machine so I can add devices anytime I want. So the only real wires that are inside are the HDMI and I'll show you from the backside. But as you can see, input one is the Legends Ultimate. If I press number two, we now get the Amazon Fire Stick. Now, I still need to, you know, I don't have it mapped right now, but it, it's at least there. So if I put another power strip back there, I can then plug in all my blast dongles. I still have three open spots in there. So it's a pretty cool nifty trick to make it work for your setup. All right, guys, so we saw that we took, I took the cable that was in here for the input, and I went and plugged an HDMI cable from the output of the HDMI selector to the splitter on the input here. That way, whatever was going into the switch up top would then go down to my splitter and be split to both the monitor and the capture card, because if I'm on the, um, if I'm using fire stick and I'm streaming it I want it to be able to be captured so that's important and then the five other inputs you just take your blast dongle or your fire stick or whatever so what I'm gonna do is see this slant how this slants I'm just gonna like velcro that up there I have some velcro strips I'm just gonna velcro that up on the back so that way I can just use the remote from the front and then I can access that anytime I want it's out of sight nobody sees it and I can access any of it and I can still add these as I get power strips and things like that. So there you have it guys, really quick and dirty. You don't even see it up here. I didn't have to drill any holes. All the wires are free flowing behind the cabinet. You can't see them on either side. I got the lights back up. All you have to do, I want to go to the, right now it's on the arcade. I just put my remote up there, hit number two, and we instantly select two. Hands on fire, or if I want to go back to the arcade, I hit number one, it automatically will adjust, and you'll get the arcade back here just like that. Because in the attract mode, and you're back out and you're playing the games. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. So, stay tuned for more, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you tune in every Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern for the Retro Buzz with myself, Glenn Planamento, and Doug Smith's Cool Toy.